Joseph Deshay was born in Monroe County, Pennsylvania on December 9, 1768 to Robert and Eleanor Wheeler Deshay. His education was limited and attained in the rural schools of his native state. The family moved to Fayette County, Kentucky in 1781 and then to Tennessee in 1784. In 1789, he married Margaret Bledsoe, and they had 13 children together. Deshay moved his family to Mason City in Mason County, Kentucky in 1792. He fought in the Indian Wars of 1794. Throughout his battles with Native Americans, Deshay stayed with another Kentucky founder, William Whitley, in Crab Orchard. Deshay entered politics in 1797, serving as a member of the Kentucky House of Representatives, a position he held again from 1799 to 1802. He also served as a member of the Kentucky State Senate from 1803 to 1807 and was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives from 1807 to 1819. He answered Governor Isaac Shelby's call to fight with William Henry Harrison and was a Major General in command of the 2nd Division of the Kentucky Militia. He also served as a Major General in the Battle of the Thames in 1813. Deshay placed third in his first gubernatorial bid in 1820 with John Adair winning and William Logan taking second. Deshay won his second attempt at becoming governor by beating Christopher Tompkins, the anti-relief candidate. He was sworn into the governor's office on August 24, 1824. His term was rough, to say the least. During his tenure, the decision to annul the Replevin Laws was contested. In its place, a new court was formed. On Christmas Eve of 1824, Deshay illegally lobbied the House floor for the passing of a court reorganization bill that abolished the old court and created the new court. The old judges refused to quit, but the new ones took the court records. However, the new court was dissolved in 1826 when conservatives took back the House and the Senate. Politics got the best of Deshay. With disagreements with Henry Clay and other prominent Kentucky politicians, another issue arose regarding the state's support of Transylvania University. Horace Hawley had helped gain the university national attention, but many Kentuckians thought he was too liberal. Deshay joined attacks on Hawley, and Hawley was forced to leave the following year. When looking at Deshay's term, the most damaging to the governor's reputation was when he issued a pardon to his son Isaac, who had been convicted by two juries of killing a Mississippian by the name of Francis Baker in 1824. His son was going to be hanged. After leaving office, Deshay returned to farm at his home in Harrison County, retiring from public service. Governor Joseph Deshay died on October 12, 1842, and was buried in the Georgetown Cemetery. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Joseph Deshay, Kentucky's ninth governor. He was the first governor to be born in Pennsylvania. He was a war hero and met a lot of opposition during his term as governor. But with the pardon of his son, a theme we can connect to is that blood is thicker than water, or blood is thicker than politics. Don't forget to try out audible.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video in the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky history content. If you feel like it, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod, and don't forget to check out the Land Between the Meadows Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.